Hi everybody. I have had this really good idea for quite a while where I've wanted to take the conversations that I've had with my daughters since being in Serbia and put them into a video. And what they are, uh, we communicate through um, Marco Polo. And, and this is not a sponsored video. However, Marco Polo should probably be reaching out to me because this is a really cute video and it's, it's, it's a fun app that we've used while we've been, been here. And what they do is the girls will, will record a little something and then I watch it or we have a group chat and we'll each watch it and then respond to it. And where I've been in Serbia and our time difference is eight hours, it's made it very convenient for us to reply back and forth. And I've chose some of the highlights to make this video today. There are other uh, conversations that haven't been put in, but of course these are pr very private conversations that we've had. But the, the ones that I'm showing you, they're pretty sweet, they're pretty cute. I think you, that you'll enjoy it, especially if you are um, subscribed to Bonnie, Julie, and Ellie. And I will leave links to their YouTube channels and their Instagram in the description below. Enjoy the video, guys. We're waiting. We're going to go to Royal Dragon with David and Merlene for lunch today. Um, anyway, we're just kind of sitting here waiting for the clock to tick. We've pretty much got, well, we've got a few things in the background to send off, but pretty much got the house ready to leave, don't we, honey? I think so. Yeah. We're, we're got a lot of things done. There'll Our probably list. be a lot of things that we didn't get done that yeah, we didn't okay. realize, but... Our list is just little anymore, not a whole lot. See you later. Hi, good morning. Um, I'm calling you from a place. I didn't even start crying. <laughs> Everything's okay so far. Um, we are in the hospital with Ellie. Um, she was having some trouble slurring words, finding words, having a hard time remembering things. So um, we called 911 immediately. Um, her vitals look good. Um, everything is leaning towards a symptom of a migraine and not a stroke. So, um... Is that a damn migraine? Yeah. Um, the and doctors... My mouth went numb so I couldn't breathe. I, I think that's related to some panicking that she was having. Um... But uh, the numbness has gone away. Uh, she's been able to remember a lot more, and she's getting her wording down better. So we feel like, and the doctors feel like, it is uh, called a complex migraine, and that's a symptom of that. But we are still here to rule out a lot. She's going to have an MRI shortly. Um, baby's doing good uh, so far. The heart rate looks good. There's lots of movement. So just want to keep you in the loop. I have honestly been thinking about you all day since yesterday. I faced or I Marco Poloed Ellie, and she said her head hurt so bad she wanted to die. And I have been thinking about you nonstop since. I'm so sorry. You have a bad head. <laughs> I have a bad head. Gosh darn it, Ellie. I am so sorry you're going through this and that. Gosh darn it. I'm glad that Jared is by your side every step of the way and that he's there to help you. And I hope that the doctors can figure out what's going on and give you some answers. I'm sorry. Hey, um, Dad and I just barely saw these um, Marco Polos so and we just feel sick. Jared, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Not for not only being there with her and for her, but keeping us updated this this really I think helps mm -hmm. um, and we just obviously in our thoughts and prayers and we just we just love you so much we just love Jared we love you um, Ellie sweet baby girl yeah we just hope feel the, so bad hope the boys are doing okay with mm -hmm. You keep us in posted and 
We'll keep you in our prayers and keep us posted. And thank you, other girls, for your good support, too. We will. Oh. We'll talk to you soon. All right, ladies, here we have it. My very first ever sourdough bread. And not too shabby. But let me show you what I did. Dad and I went for a walk. We went to order us some office chairs because my fanny is killing me here. And so is Daddy's. But this is so fun. We were walking down the street. We had no intentions of doing this. Walked by this tiny little shop with more gloves. That was cute. And they fit super tight. And I told her, I said, they're too little. And she's like, no, no. And she made me put them on. Oh, my goodness. I see I've got all of you on here. Hello, girls. That is so fun to know you're just right there. Is that the cutest little box? Do you know what's in it? <laughs> so this is my Serbian hat. Anyway, and what was really cute, let me tell you what was really cute, is, you know, we walk by shops and see something, and you always think, well, we can come back, you know, we'll come back or when it gets a little closer. But Dad was the one that was like, he really wanted me to get it, and that is what was fun, and so there was no way I was not going to get it. I know you're on here. I don't want to, I don't want to hang up because I know you're you're listening to me, and I just love you to death. I'm showing the girls. I'm showing the girls what the you Christmas bought Christmas present. Me. My, <laughs> yeah. Whatever. It's, yeah, it's, it's cute, fun. though. It looks yeah. cute. On. Have you tried it on? Yeah, I did. You, you can show them the back of it. Why don't you hold this and, and do it one more time? Okay, I dropped everything the second I saw a Marco Polo with mom's name on it. I was like, forget what I'm doing. What is mom saying? And when you pulled the gloves out, I laughed. And they are so cute. They are so you. And then when you said, do you know what's in this box? I said, a hat. <laughs> oh, when you pulled out the box, I said, chocolates. That's the cutest box. Cutest hat. I love that you were talking to us live while we all watched. And Bonnie, I think we all thought the same thing. We saw mom and we were like, <gasps> mom? Oh, you guys look so good. You guys look so good, mom. You look so sweet. <laughs> it's so good. It's like, you're right. Just knowing you're up there, it just makes me so happy. And then I wanted to reply and Ellie replied and then Bonnie replied. Now it's my turn to say hi. Yes, it is fun to see all of our faces popped up on the top of the screen. Mom, you are darling. And so is dad. Okay, we had an ultrasound today. I'm dying. That stinking goofball. We couldn't even get a cute picture of her face. Here's her face and her toes are above her head. She literally is in a C shape. And the doctor thought she was so goofy. But it like made me laugh so hard. What a goofball! I'm so excited. She's already showing you her personality. She's already a goofball. That's her. Like, I swear to you, that's just who she's going to be for the rest of her life. She's already showing you. <laughs> I'm so in love that you said that. Jared said the same thing. Jared's like, and there's Ellie. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, we have the hyena tray passing down generations. <laughs> Literally, that's what Jared said. You should have heard the doctor. It was as if he, I'm obviously he has seen it all, but it was as if he had never seen it. He literally was like, oh, <laughs> that looks comfortable. He's like, what is she doing? Um, it was so funny and I could not, I still can't stop smiling. Like that was like the funniest thing and like the cutest thing. And I'm just so giddy. Like I cannot, I've not bought anything yet. But one of these days, um, Julie, thank you so much. You are giving me so much. Um, but I am excited to, like, go and actually look for things. I'm very excited for that. But I'm still going to try and wait a little longer. Um, I feel like it's making the time go by fast, though. Like, I'm 17 weeks now. So that's, that's like, almost halfway. So maybe I'll, like, start shopping in a few weeks. Oh. Oh, this is cool. We don't have one of these. We have, I think we have a real one. In. Yeah, but I've never seen one. That is so cool. This is very optimistic. 
So today we watched one of the sessions from, we watched last night's session to this morning. And let me think who was there besides all of us missionaries. There was one husband and wife in their 30s. He's from Russia and he joined the church in Russia and came here. Um, Mom, your hair looks so cute. That baptismal font is so humbling. <laughs> that is so sweet. That is so sweet. I love it. Um, Mom, when you watch the Sunday morning session and the prophet speaks and then the following like him after that, you are going to cry. It is the closing talk by our prophet was so touching and beautiful and then the song was just absolutely gorgeous so i do have to tell you that their scoops here are teeny tiny so no no worries about gaining weight off of their gelatos because that is the size of it they're little I love you. Okay, kids. We ditched the sisters and the elders. This is the third time we've walked up here. These are our new friends. This is my kids. These are our family. I'm on a Marco Polo with them. Hello, family. So, yeah, the elders had to go to bed. We don't have a curfew. <laughs> okay, girls, we're at a little different viewpoint, and I'll show you what, what it looks like at this angle. Right there. So this is not, this is still in our mission, but it isn't in our area. And we had to have special permission to come here. It's kind of fun. Anyway, see ya. Okay, what are you doing? Oh, daddy's looking at your, at your green. Your guacamole, guacamole business. Guacamole business. <laughs> So, oh, where did it go? I put it in the fridge because I'm going to St. George this weekend. But that's my starter right there. That's going to be my friend for, well, maybe the rest of my life. Um, but so it started with that. Anyway, so yeah, you just like, oh gosh, I don't know. There's a whole process to it. But yeah, it has to sit on the counter for a while. Um, but Bonnie got talking or I mentioned something about it. And then Bonnie was like, I want to start making sourdough bread. And Bonnie's like, my friend was telling me all about it. Anyway, I think it's really going to be kind of a fun little hobby that we do. I've been in the kitchen all day, but I think it'll be worth it. Um, yeah, kind of fun. But mom and dad, your letter was so cute. Or should I say dad? You were the one who wrote the letter this week. It was so sweet. And I'm glad you guys had a good time in Mon Montrego. Montegro, is that how you say it? Um, looks like you guys are making lots of new friends. You guys are my best friends. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Just gonna go home and sleep. <laughs> I'm like mad. I'm mad. Why? My head's throbbing right now. It's the worst. You have a bad hip. <laughs> and I have a bad head. Um, Ellie is on <laughs> Tylenol. <laughs> Which I'm like, I laugh because it's like, does, what is that going to do? Does Jack? <laughs> I, I am grateful that they are giving it, but the having the baby makes it a lot more difficult to give her any sort of pain relief kind of stuff. So uh, she has two Tylenol pills in her. And I'm just laughing because it's, it's like putting a Band-Aid on an if. amputee. <laughs> Oh, Ellie, you know we're your best friends and that we are here for you every step of the way. And if you needed us to come down and get your kids and watch them, you know we would do that in a heartbeat. So let us know if you need any help at all this weekend with your kids. Is there anything that the doctor can give you for your headache to get you through the weekend or even just the day? Like, is there anything they can give you just to, like, give you any bit of relief? Yeah, you're uh, our best friend too. <laughs> and when I tell you, I like sat there and just like bawled. I was like, please don't let anything happen to her. Like, please don't let anything happen to the baby. It's like, yeah, I don't know what I would do. <laughs> oh, if it was me, I would be putting myself on bed rest. <laughs> 
I don't care if the doctor called for it. I'm putting myself on bed rest. Okay, girls. I'm gonna show you the scariest place in Serbia. It's the garage where we have to park the car when, um, when the parking stalls are full. Oh, I hate it down here. It's really yicky. And trying to get out of here is crazy. It's a joke. What does this tell you about the place, huh? Hmm? What does that tell you? Yeah, that's right. Rats. Ooh. Yeah, and I gotta make sure Dad gets backed out of here and I'll show you the ramp in a minute. It's really tight quarters. Gotta go. Bye-bye.